SARS says those who missed today's tax submission deadline will be penalized, and Western Cape Premier Zilla has launched the province's 16 Days of Activism campaign under the theme Get Tested to Win. Ambosiswa Khadeb with the latest news update. The SA Revenue Services says those who missed today's tax submission deadline will be penalized. SARS officials have their hands full as taxpayers line up in a last-minute effort to meet today's deadline for returns. SARS says it expects about 4 million tax return submissions by the close of business today. Spokesperson Adrian Lackey says today's deadline for tax submissions will not be extended. Depending on your past history, that penalty can increase to a maximum of 16,000 rand for as long as the tax debt remains outstanding and the returns remain outstanding, that money or the penalty will increase in value. It will draw interest every month and we really want to use it as a tool to disincentivize people not to comply with the law. Uh, We have given them sufficient time. We have made it as easy as possible to submit your returns. So if you have any outstanding issues, you must attend to it. We can also approach a court, get judgment against a defaulting taxpayer and then proceed to remove Move money either from your bank account as a last resort. Former Cricket South Africa President Mtutu Zelinyoga says he was lied to and deceived by the Federation's CEO Gerald Machola about bonuses paid to Machola and other cricket officials. Nyoga is giving evidence on day three of the Ministerial Commission of Inquiry into Cricket South Africa's bonus scandal. Janet Witten reports. Nyoka says Majola said to him that he regarded hosting the Indian Premier League as his national service. Majola then told him he would not receive a cent for his role in hosting the event. Nyoka, who then proposed a bonus equivalent of 36 months' salary for Majola, only learned later that the CEO went behind his back discussing bonuses with the IPL. Majola paid himself 1.8 million from the 4.7 million rand in bonuses. Nyoka says he's hurt more by the broken relationships than the money issues because he felt he'd been loyal to Majola in protecting him from what Majola perceived to be a white mafia, particularly at the Gauteng Cricket Board. Janet Witten, SABC News. Transnet's pension fund has agreed to a back pay of five months to existing pensioners. Fund chairperson Peter Moyo has told Parliament's Committee for Public Enterprises that the payment will be spread over five months up to March next year. This follows almost 18 months of negotiations between Transnet and the pension fund to improve the plight of its 80,000 members. The committee has been told that almost 50% of Transnet pensioners get less than 1,500 rand a month. Moyo says at the moment, pensioners are also guaranteed a 2% annual increase. And lastly, Western Cape Premier Helen Zilla has launched the province's 16 Days of Activism campaign for no violence against women and children under the theme Get Tested to Win. The campaign will provide incentives for citizens to know their HIV status. Zilla says in the past year, over a million people have been voluntarily tested for HIV in the province. Catch our SADC package on Option 7 and also the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak, Option 1.